first, um, I'm, I'm trying a new thing where I just wear sunglasses in YouTube videos because A, you can't see if I'm looking at the viewfinder or not. <laughs> <laughs> And B, I have on no makeup, and I think this just kind of fixes that. And I don't think anybody's really done that, so I'm kind of like Trisha. Oh. <laughs> Literally Trisha. So yeah, I'm gonna be wearing sunglasses in today's video, but that is not the point. And um, today I am here with my best friend, <laughs> Trevor Moran. I don't have Trevor on my channel very often. Contrary to popular belief, he's very hard to get a hold of or get in a YouTube video or get on camera or film with. I just hate fucking filming with you. <laughs> <laughs> like it's so much. You never know if like she's gonna just be like sending me a swipe up link without like it being fucking confirmed. Like I don't know if I can trust you. <laughs> she won't even send me a draft of this. I honestly guarantee it. <laughs> You're right. So like I'm just gonna shut up and defend myself as best as I can in this video. <laughs> so I'm, before we start, we know she lies. <laughs> No. Whatever she's about to tell you what happened did happen over a year ago. <laughs> so that's what a true. perpetrator would say. <laughs> You're literally a perpetrator. <laughs> over a year ago, um, Trevor ruined my life. <laughs> It was Trevor's birthday over a year ago, and Trevor provided me with one of the worst nights of my life. <laughs> To this day, I have like crippling, crippling PTSD from it. Like I will never ever forget it play by play like a movie in my head. I've, I've never ever fought with someone or been so angry at someone that I met in the YouTube space either or like an influencer. And truly, after this happened, I didn't think we would be friends anymore. Like, this hurt. This was like a knife, like to the soul, you know? I love that. We ended up becoming friends again and now I think that over time like this experience just helped us grow. Yeah. You know, I've, I've forgiven. <laughs> I've done a lot of really bad shit. <laughs> Trevor. Yes. <laughs> like you're so terrible to me and this one night, <laughs> like this one night, this comes to be a whole video. You are equally as terrible to me. Now I am because I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk you guys through this night. It's a story time, you guys, you want more story times. This is a story that I've been wanting to get on my chest for so long, but it has taken me a literal year to convince Trevor to let me tell this story or let me tell the story with him in the video. I had to be in it. Like, I just don't trust you. Yeah, like, so literally just think of this as a story time with Trevor in the <laughs> Yes! Okay, it was a year ago. It was my birthday. I'll get there. <laughs> Trevor was my best friend, and I was living with him pretty much at his place in LA. What? <laughs> Wait, no, you still are. You still are. I'm just saying, a year ago, at this point, you were my best friend. Was. Past tense. Still are. Okay. <laughs> And I was staying at his place when I would come out to LA and we would just kind of do everything together We were a fun and fresh little duo, you know, it was good and fresh and then Trevor got a man <laughs> You know, he fell in love. Yes. They were just like the Tasmanian devil and his sidekick like plowing through everything <laughs> Just on their own and it was okay really I was letting him experience love I was letting it happen so Trevor's birthday was coming around Trevor had been celebrating his birthday for a week and a half Really? At this point oh absolutely <laughs> just blickety every night blickety black just fucking bulldozing through life My feet are behind my head just like hunched over walking wherever I go <laughs> Literally just imagine Trevor like crawling down Hollywood Boulevard with like a Tito's bottle in his hand <laughs> birthday hat on for like a week. Finally his actual birthday came around. We all go to sushi. I'm paying for the majority of these these uber blacks that we're taking everywhere and it's fine. It's fine. It's your birthday. I'm kidding. We're already fighting. No stop it. We haven't gotten anywhere. We haven't gotten anywhere. You know Trevor gets pretty turnt at sushi and at the time Trevor's favorite club was Hyde on Sunset. Am I wrong? No. I go out of my way all day to try to like surprise Trevor to like, you know, get connections at Hyde. And for a moment there, Trevor was banned from Hyde yes. for... <sighs> <laughs> okay. I was at a table with Kendall Jenner. <laughs> Like she said, been a week and a half, I was blickety blacked out every night. Like I was with uh, my sidekick at the time yeah. and I was Snapchatting. We we're just like hanging out and I guess Kendall Jenner was in the background of our snap. You no, failed to mention like you twerking on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Kendall Jenner just sitting there like, so bodyguard tells owner of Hyde that I'm banned. So Trevor's banned, so I spend the week, you know, working on lifting that ban, working on getting us a table there, whatever. And then last minute, Trevor's like, I don't wanna go to Hyde anymore. I wanna go to Bootsy Bella. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, Hyde's your favorite club, and I've put in a lot of work into, like, making tonight really fun for you at Hyde, you know? I don't and know he's what you're like, in any work. No, I went out of my way to try to make you have, like, a good night at Hyde. Okay. Okay, so let's say that your man's name was Ben. 
Okay. And Trevor's like, Ben and I got a table at Bootsy Bellows and it's my birthday and I want to go to Bootsy Bellows. And I'm like, okay, well fuck, it's your birthday. Fine, fine. So we get in an Uber Black that I paid for. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and we take this Uber Black to Bootsy Bellows. We show up and there, there's a long line outside. There's difficulty getting in. Things just aren't working out well. It's also Bootsy Bellows, which no offense, Bootsy Bellows, but like, I, stop trying to make Bootsy Bellows happen. Yeah, I, I got over it. <laughs> it's just not my favorite club in LA. No tea, no shade. I don't think it's bad. I'll probably be trying to get in there next week and they'll be like, we saw your video. But like, you know what I mean? It's not my favorite club, but I'm like, okay, it's Trevor's birthday. We finally go inside and they walk us to this like special back room that like Trevor and his man's like, Rented for his birthday. Wait, wait. You just talk about the fact that like we walk in. Were you there? Yes. yes. I was. You talk about the fact that we walk in and Bootsy is empty. <coughs> yeah. Oh, empty. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. Empty. So we walk past like nine people in the front room, and I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Maybe Trevor's little room is like more lit or like whatever. We walk into the back room, and it is literally. <laughs> <laughs> Except for like strippers in like weird costumes, right? Mm -hmm. That are and, like, like our there, waiters and waitresses. Like that are like there for the night or whatever. Trevor gets us bottle service over to like our table. So we're all just kind of drinking in the corner to like mariachi music, like alone. <laughs> Just not fun at all for anyone involved. And keep in mind, Trevor also had invited some of his like longtime friends who were like there as well. But of course, Trevor's in the corner with his man, like, no, I love you more. No, I love you more. Really While we're all happen. sitting there, like, it's like it's just like so boring. And then Trevor looks at me and he's like, Oh, aren't you having fun on my birthday? Like, you're just, you're really just gonna like just sit there and just like pout like it's not your birthday. Like, <laughs> you, you can you have the kind of this one day? Like, can I have this one day for me? And I'm like, Wow, okay, so it'd be like that. Right now. The owner was also at our table. And I'll get to that. <laughs> You'll get to that. <laughs> okay. Dude, wait, he hooked this up for us. Yeah, well He comes in looking like the fucking Caspian prince. Like, <laughs> he had, like, like his like robe, like crystallized and Do like, you wanna just be in this like, video? He had, like a scepter. Two bottles right here. Trevor's birthday. I know he's turning like 19. <laughs> <laughs> She is so upset at the fact that it's empty. I, I know, I let me stop. Okay. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so she stands on the top of the table. Well, Trevor kept giving me shit for like not having fun and pouting, and I'm like, well, I'll show you fun, bitch. So I get up on the table in this empty ass cup, and I'm like, oh my god, best birthday ever. I was so embarrassed though. To what? <laughs> Just the like bar stools? <laughs> Like, she was being Well, a keep black. in mind that I also, like, planned a good time of a birthday for him. Good time! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Trevor's like, well, I get it. It's just not fun here. Like, we can leave. And so then, I order us an Uber Black. <laughs> this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. <laughs> this is part. not my favorite part, but okay. An Uber Black from Bootsy Bellows to Hide on Sunset. And the Uber Black shows up. It's like a smaller car. It's like a Mercedes. It's not a Suburban. Per usual, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I remember this! So much chaos over who's getting in this Uber Black. Tana's <laughs> like, well, I pay for it. I pay for it. <laughs> we get to the Uber Black, and we came just like us four, us five, whatever, you know. We could have made it work. Like me, Amari, Trevor's mans, and Trevor could have all ridden in this Uber Black to hide, and that, like, that was who was supposed to go anyways and whatever. And then Trevor's just like dragging along people that were like with us all of a sudden, like, why can't I bring Stephanie and Tiffany and Brittany? <laughs> and I'm like, order them an Uber. And Trevor is like, can we squeeze? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you remember wait at sushi when he's like, can you pay? <laughs> I forgot about that completely like, too. I paid for his birthday. dinner too. I paid for his sushi <laughs> dinner too, along with his Uber Black. Not just, no, you paid for everyone. No, I paid for everyone's sushi. Like, I literally paid for like, okay, the girls you just met. Yeah, just, just met, met them. <laughs> paid for their fucking dinners she for has... Trevor Moran's fucking birthday, and we haven't even started this story yet. No, it was a lot. But I it seriously like have dinner. Have <laughs> no sushi no, dance. No, no, no. That's for nine people. Trevor goes, can you pay? And Tana's like, I don't know them. Like, can you just pay? It's my birthday. And she's like, <laughs> and I, I've done so much for you. And you're way richer than me. <laughs> so anyways, I'm like, no, Trevor. My Uber Black with four seats does not have room for Stephanie, Brittany, Tiffany, and their sister. Can you please order them another Uber to hide? I didn't even know they were going. I don't just Trevor's inside of the Uber talking to his mans who's like sitting down buckled in ready to go like get out We're getting in a bigger Uber so me, you, Brittany, <laughs> Tiffany, and Stephanie can go to the It was literally just me and you yeah. in this Uber Black So then ride. this Uber Black that I ordered from like a shitty club to another club to make Trevor happy Trevor decides he doesn't even want to get into it because there's no space for his new club of friends And Amari and I ride to hide alone <laughs> This story hasn't even begun yet 
<laughs> like literally that means nothing to the story. So then, <laughs> just like the thought of you guys in the back seat. You know me just sexing like livid, just like in the back seat, like click, 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 click. click. Me on Twitter, like happy birthday, Trevor. You're my best friend. I'm so grateful for you. You're amazing to me. Tweet. Nothing means as much to me as you and our Ugh. friendship and, and everything we've been through. Like right now sucks, but <laughs> <laughs> We pull up to Hyde and there's a giant line outside of Hyde and then Trevor pulls up like five minutes later in his fucking Uber XL with his 19 fucking people. <laughs> you know, we walk respectfully up to the bouncer because we like had a table there and like everything figured out. And then Trevor walks up using Sam Podorf's fake ID. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was my credit card. You had Sam Potter's fake ID and your credit card, and you were somehow trying to convince the bouncer that those correlated. There was like a 20 sandwich in between there. <laughs> there was, there was. And so Trevor's trying to hand this bouncer $20, his own debit card, and Sam Potter's fake ID, like, why aren't she taking it? It's my birthday. And then the bouncer will take it, and Trevor's like, I'm a girl. I'm a girl. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is your fucking brother? Actually identifying as a woman at that time. I'm aware, just I think that yelling that in a high bouncer's face with Sam Potter's ID in your hand doesn't really do much for <laughs> any of the overall situation. He's yelling, just stumbling, and everyone's trying to get Trevor. Stop talking, they're gonna ban you again. Yeah, like, reban, yeah, reban. They're, they're gonna... I was I was so nervous. I was like, I'm not even supposed to be here. You know, like chill out, like whatever, and try to say, I don't have to, it's my birthday, God. <laughs> So then, like, the owner of Hyde, they, like, originally, like, banned Trevor, comes outside, they sit on a bench, they have a heart-to-heart -heart life talk where Trevor's like, you just need to let me in, and everything will be okay. And I keep trying to interject, like, listen, just, he's gonna go inside, it's gonna be his birthday, like, we'll be super calm, we'll go to our table, we'll fuck off, and Trevor's like, what she said! <laughs> like, just, like, obliterating his relationship with this person. He's like, ten, ten, but, stop but, talking to him. Dude, you know how he's like, ten, shut the fuck up, yeah, like, ten. We go into hide and it's, it's like 1 a.m. at this point. I've been trying to get there for like nine hours I'm just livid. I put in so much work now and we have one hour left to like utilize this space Like the person I've been begging all week being like don't worry Trevor will be super calm Like everything's gonna be just fine. You know Trevor just like vorked in his face for like 30 minutes They don't like, know what that means. They do. Vork. Trevor Moran blackout. <laughs> this whole story time is a, it's a vorky time really. It's a yeah. vorky time. Um, yeah. That's another video. Vork is another video. We go back to the table and I'm finally just like wow this is gonna be the first moment where things just Go aren't right. yeah. hell you know like <laughs> I'm so excited to hang out for a second and so now it's me Trevor Amari Trevor's mans and all of Trevor's you know Brittany spice Jeff. girls posse <laughs> that he brought with him Salt and, and someone walks someone walks over to you Trevor and they hand you I mean and Trevor wasn't doing it I just want to put that right out here Trevor does not do coke and was not doing coke this night but I it's a, it's a pivotal part of the story oh God, wait, so they bring Trevor a bag of coke and they like slip it in his bag and I don't even know if you noticed or if you cared about it right then. Fuck this story. I don't remember this. Like as a birthday gift. I watched this happen. And, and the story doesn't start until we leave high. Like keep that in mind. Okay. You know Trevor's also just stepping on me every nine seconds and falling all over every single person. Spilling drinks inside everywhere. of high. Yeah, spilling drinks, spilling shots, knocking over glass. Like <laughs> bitches will put their purses on the back of the couch and you'll just like bat their fucking Michael Kors across high. Like and I'm like picking up after him, like momming, being like. It's okay, my toes are bleeding from you stepping on them, but it's fine. Happy birthday, I love you. And so after like 45 minutes of this, like Hyde's about to close and everyone's about to leave and I'm just living. Wait, why is there coke involved? I'm, don't, I'm getting there. And I'm like, Trevor, I, I'm sorry, but I don't want to be mean to you on your birthday. I want you to have a good day. You're also so fucked up, so you're just looking like through me as I'm talking to you. <laughs> it's like Tana looking at a viewfinder. <laughs> so I'm looking at you, I'm like, listen, I love you. I, I've been out until 1 a.m. Like I've done everything trying to make your birthday perfect and not complain. It's your day and I love you. And I just like, I want to leave. Like, I know I'm staying with you, but I'm going to go get a hotel room. Like, at the Lowe's Hotel to get away from you. And all day, Trevor had been begging me to get a hotel room at the Lowe's so that he could, like, fuck his man. Stop all over saying his house. no. This is not no. Do they think you're, like, a virgin? No, that didn't happen. I don't remember that happening. <laughs> yeah, you don't I don't remember. remember asking for a hotel to fuck oh, someone. Oh, no, no. You didn't want a hotel. You wanted me 
to get out and get a hotel. So oh, so I can have birthday so sex? Have yes, yes. Got it. Yeah. Finally, I was like, I'll take you up on your offer. I will go get a hotel room. I just want to get out of your hair, whatever. But my stuff oh. is at your apartment. I just want you to remember that sentence because I'm going to say it a lot. I can't leave to the lows because I have nothing on me. Like, I'm wearing club clothes. I want to go back to your house, get my suitcases, and go home to my hotel. In order to do that, you either need to leave with me right now, which I don't think Vorkis wants to do. Vorkis. Um, Vorkis. <laughs> So can you give me your house key or call the place and like have them buzz me up or whatever? And Trevor's just like, it's literally like talking to like a toddler. He's just like, I don't wanna, you can wait 20 more minutes if you wanna go with me. I am not getting you the key fob <laughs> shit. You are not getting anything for me. You can call Blake and Blake doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Blake's his brother. And I'm like, okay, Trevor, fine. But if you think at any point that you want to give me your key fob or your key, I would love to have it. And so then you decide, you know what, fine. You're going to implore my idea and begin to look for your <coughs> key fob. But instead of looking for your keys or your key fob like a normal person, you decide to make everyone that's at our table and couches spread open, like part the seats <laughs> like Jesus, and move. And you stand on the couch, unzip your purse with this bag of coke in it, and all of your stuff, and you just dump it out onto the couch everywhere. Inside of hiding, the bag of coke spills. <laughs> Keep in mind, Trevor is standing on the couch like this, inside of a dark ass club, like, like flashlight yeah, flash on, <laughs> like dumping out a Louis Vuitton Speedy, filled with shit and then coke, just explodes everywhere. <laughs> Are you fuck? After I promised the owner of this club that Trevor would not do anything to upset him ever again, and the story hasn't even begun. <laughs> Security comes up, like, sees what he's doing, and, like, tries to grab his Louis Vuitton Speedy <laughs> from him. So now he's just playing tug of war with the fucking. And I'm just standing there in between this, like, and he rips it away. <laughs> Trevor rips it away, he, like, screams. He's like, no, no. But he also, when he rips it away, like, propels his body and, like, flies back into the other couch, like, legs up in the air. So now Trevor has made himself fall over a fight with a bat. <laughs> Next to the entire contents of his bag and coke. <laughs> Spilled coke. Spilled coke. Oh my god, we're so good. <laughs> so finally now, the bouncers and security decide that we should probably leave. Especially considering that the club is now closing in two minutes. <laughs> so we walk outside of the club. <laughs> I order another Uber Black. <laughs> I'm gonna shit my fucking pants, dude. And so we order an Uber Black back to Trevor's apartment. And so now Trevor is going through his bag, you know, looking for his keys, and he realizes on the ride home that he can't find them. <laughs> they must have gotten lost in the earthquake that happened inside of Hyde when he dumped his, the contents of his bag everywhere inside of a dark club. And so he's calling Hyde. They're obviously not answering because they're closed and why would they pick up the phone to that? He realizes that he's not going to be able to get his keys back from Hyde at least. Now I'm just fuming because like I'm in a club dress. I booked a $200 hotel to go sleep in it. I don't have any of my shit. I'm not going to be able to get it. All I want is my stuff from Trevor's apartment. We finally pull up to where Trevor lives, take the elevator up to his house. We realize that it's locked. I can't express to you the anger that I felt in that moment because like for the last six hours all I was like banking on was like leaving the club getting my suitcases out of Trevor Shea and not talking to Trevor for like a day he'll have a good birthday yeah. he won't remember the monstrosity <laughs> that he was inside of Hyde whatever and now I've realized that I am stuck with him <laughs> for much much longer okay. we get in the elevator and we go back down to the front desk on the elevator ride down I am just like god Trevor I really just wish you could have like kept track of your key and Trevor's like it's my fucking birthday how fucking dare you talk to me like that how fast fuck you you're a bad fucking friend fuck you no and then and so, like in this time period too he would also like switch up and be like tana it's your birthday it's your birthday it's <laughs> all about you <laughs> tana's birthday tana's birthday patronizing me as i'm losing my mind as 
I'm walking down the door, I'm like, Trevor, listen, I know you're mad at me right now and you think it's my birthday and you can't stand and you're missing a shoe and a key and whatever else, <laughs> like, you know. But if you could just not talk, I'm gonna go talk to these people about your key, I'm gonna get it back, I'm gonna figure it out, you're a little too drunk, like, why don't you just sit in the lobby and enjoy your birthday and, like, I'll get your keys back for you. And so we walk up to the front desk and Trevor's like, no, I'm gonna fucking handle this. I live here, you don't, you don't even live in LA. You don't even live in LA. He walks up to the desk and he's like, hi. <laughs> I lost my key. It's like 3 in the morning. And he's like, I went to the closet tonight and I dumped out my bag and now I'm missing my key. <laughs> They're like, okay, well, um, when you're locked out of where you live, you know, you have to provide us with a bunch of information and then we have to make a call to maintenance. And then once we like verify that it's you and whatever, like the maintenance people will come in like an hour, especially because it's 3 in the morning, and they'll unlock your apartment. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, so we're gonna be stuck in this lobby for an hour. <laughs> And the girl's like, well, yeah, an hour is like the minimum. And I'm like, okay, okay, so what, what do we have to do first to verify information? And she's like, well, it's actually really simple. All we need from you is Trevor's social security number. <laughs> and Trevor's like, well, I don't know that. And I'm like, you don't? <laughs> Trevor's like, one second, I'm gonna call my mom. <laughs> and then he gets up on the counter. <laughs> I remember that, I remember that. And lays down. I want you guys to think like hotel lobby, like fancy, people in suits. Like where Trevor lived was so bougie, it's unreal. People in suits behind like a fancy desk, like writing on little keyboards, like buzzing people up, like hotel lobby. People opening the doors yeah, for you when like, you walk Exactly. Like, Imagine Trevor Moran, blackout drunk, laid across the desk that the people were talking about like, mom, <laughs> what the fuck is my social security number? And then I'm trying to take the phone, like, let me just talk to your mom, I'll get it, I'll tell them, and Trevor's like, it's my mom! It's my mom laid across this desk! It's my six foot long, just, 40 body. Yeah, literally, feet in the air, clunking around. I am just, I'm livid, but I can't leave because all I need to do is get my stuff. I also didn't want to leave you like that. Yeah, you good, know? good. Not even kidding you, after 25 minutes of Trevor being like, I just need a social, can you get up? Is it in the closet? Or is it in the guest room closet? Okay, you got here now? Just, okay, five, <laughs> one, <laughs> hold on. Five, one, did you get that? <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Five, one, three, like in this bitch's face laying on the desk. So she finally gets your social from you and then you hang up and she's like, okay, sir, can you get off the desk? <laughs> <laughs> Right. So then she's like, okay, now you need to call the maintenance and describe to them your problem. Schedule your appointment and they will come. <laughs> she's asking me to, like, is there any way that you could do it? Asking you, like, is there any way that your friend can do it? She seems a little more coherent than you and you're like, <laughs> I've got it handled. <laughs> and so then you walk over to the other desk, get back up on it, <laughs> lay down, and they give him, like, a home phone with, like, a cord to call this maintenance. So imagine Trevor laying, like, feet up in the air, kicking, like, on this home phone, and they... <laughs> It's your name, Carlo? A little too much to drink at the club last night, and I'm locked out of my apartment. Hangs up the phone by accident. <laughs> has to call that. Wait, actually? Yes, oh yes. Gets connected to another person. Has to start completely over. You're like telling them your life story. Like, I'm just sitting there fuming. I think you got disconnected like three times from like banging on the phone and hanging up. <laughs> Finally, Trevor explains his story to the maintenance people, and they tell him it's going to be an hour and 45 minutes. It's now like 3.30 in the morning, 4 in the morning. The lady at the front desk is like, listen when the maintenance person gets here we need someone coherent to like let them in and talk to them and like show IDs and like can you please stay here for the next hour and 45 minutes to do that because he's not gonna be able to and I just wanted my stuff I reluctantly agree. Then she tells Trevor, same to Trevor, like, you can't leave and come back. You need to just sit here for the next hour and 45 minutes. Don't do anything, like, just sit down. He walks over to the lobby. They have, like, a little lobby, just, like, a tiny little set of, like, two chairs Kids. and a table. <laughs> and, you know, we're, we're sitting in front of this table, and Trevor decides he wants to dump out his bag again <laughs> and look for his keys again <laughs> in this lobby. And now it's starting to become, like, 4.30. Like, literally people who, like, work out early in the morning are, like, coming down with their dogs and shit. And Trevor's just blacked out. Wait, there are people were coming down with a dog? Yeah. Yes, like people were like passing in and out of the lobby looking at you like, oh my god, like this lives here. And so Trevor opens his bag again, dumps it out now in the lobby of where he lives, and the coke <laughs> spills again. And he's now spilled a pile of coke and all of his stuff all over the lobby of where he <laughs> lives. And every time I try to talk to Trevor or corral him or get him to sit down or get him to be still even, he's like, it's your birthday, huh? Yeah. It's your birthday, huh, bitch? It's your birthday, yeah. Like everybody calls you over dramatic and now I see it. Like just, like, just like rude ass shit to me 
you're just like, Tana, I get it, you know, like, I wanted to be your best friend, but after tonight, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. I realize I can't call Trevor myself, so I call his brother Blake, and I'm like, listen, it's Trevor's birthday. I don't know what to do. I can't fix this. Can you please come here and just help me? Blake walks into the lobby. You realize your brother's there, and you run outside <laughs> onto Hollywood Boulevard, <laughs> where Trevor lived, had like a back entrance, and Trevor runs out of the back entrance, and I have to chase his ass, like, to Hollywood Boulevard, and be like, if you leave, they're not gonna give you a key, and Trevor's like, I'll sleep on the street. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually sleeping. <laughs> Trevor, like, I don't give a you shit. literally look at me and you're like, like I give a fuck where you sleep. And at this point, I just want my stuff. It's now been also like 45 minutes, like we've almost waited the whole time. Like I'm yeah. trying to get you to just like stay. I get you to come back inside. You sit back down. I'm not even talking to you. You're like, you're ignoring me. You're being quiet on my birthday. Like, it's your birthday. <laughs> Antagonizing me. And so then your man starts to get a little bit annoyed with you. So does Blake and everyone's trying to just like corral you and keep you there and you're just not having it. Behind where Trevor lives, there's a parking garage. And if you walk out of where he lives, you like walk way behind it. It's like a pretty far walk. And then you walk into the stairs and like you can go inside of the parking garage. Okay, yeah. And so you get up and like bolt to the parking garage. <laughs> and then security this time from where you live chases after you. <laughs> no! And so then I really- Wait, I'm like learning this with you guys. Good. Which is the thing. Good. Good. <laughs> what? And so I see that you just bolted, which I didn't even know you were capable of in this in the <laughs> state. Like imagine just like a drunk gazelle. <laughs> like running, like, and security bolts after you like we gotta get him man he gonna kill himself or somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker on bath salts literally, literally, literally. he's no, gonna eat some motherfucker's true. face up this back and crazy you know, and the girls at the front desk on the phone like yes sir we're trying to corral him just to get him in his apartment we don't want this happening like on the phone I'm like okay I'm gonna go so I run and I just, I just hate running in general like that it running angers me in general <laughs> so I'm like drunk like running through this park garage <laughs> to get to Trevor and I get there and Trevor just looks at me and is like I fucking hate you I don't want to be your friend anymore you're the worst best friend I've ever you're had this is me. the worst night of my life yeah you're fucking dead to me get your stuff that's all you care about your stuff and I'm like you wanted me to get a hotel room Trevor and you're like what I didn't really want you to like a true best friend wouldn't leave <laughs> and Trevor and I start oh, full on full on fighting and I get so angry that I just grab you by your arms and I'm shaking you and I'm like snap, <laughs> snap out of it Trevor snap out of it I don't give a fuck that it's your birthday I'm done being nice fuck you fuck this I wanted you to have a good night and all I fucking want is for you to get your house key right now which you have to get and you can't get it by yourself you can't get it without me you know why because you're fucking obliterated like just going off on you shaking you and then the security grabs us and he's holding us apart like this while you're flailing your arms and your legs at me and I'm like hit me hit me like you won't like in your face and the security's like man these LA fucking teens are crazy and he's talking to me he's like ma'am ma'am he's inebriated just get off of it let him leave him be and I'm like listen sir if you were in my position you would beat his ass I'm so angry because all I want to do is scream at you now. And this man won't let me. Yeah, protecting your motherfucking house, people. <laughs> <laughs> protecting the people that live here. I don't pay that much money a month. Get the bitch off me. <laughs> I'll sit on your counter if I want to. <laughs> And so he drags us back to the lobby like two little kids who like got grounded like by our shirts And then we have to wait like another 30 minutes for like the people to come. It's 30 minutes left I'm like what really can happen in these 30 minutes? He's ran to Hollywood Boulevard. He's <laughs> ran to the top of a parking garage He was dumping out his bag and all of the contents in it all over the camp And he laid across their desk. He flirted with five different maintenance men blackout <laughs> drunk What more can Trevor really do? So then Trevor's sitting there. We're all sitting there for like five minutes minutes in silence and I'm literally just sitting like thank you so much God for this moment like literally it's been such a rough night in this moment of silence it's gonna make everything all right you know what I mean everything's gonna be fine and you sit up and you go <laughs> and you go I'm just gonna break in <laughs> wait what to your apartment <laughs> so you get up from sitting there and you, <laughs> you run over to the elevator and you push the elevator button you're like ding 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 ding, ding. <laughs> keep in mind there are like men with 
jobs with like their dogs going for like their morning run at this point like women with babies in strollers like the sun is rising and Trevor's in this lobby like ding 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 to the other like I'm just gonna break in fuck you guys are all so slow what do you front desk bitches even do yelling at me like you're the worst best friend I've ever met like, ah. the elevator opens the and then the part. security guy looks at me and he's like listen if you let him go up there like I'm like you're my kid like at this point you are my full responsibility <laughs> and he's like if you let him go up there and like cause a ruckus for like the other tenants like we're not gonna help you guys get into your apartment like straight up like call the cops we don't care the security guy basically looked at me and was literally just like if you don't calm him down and sit him down to wait for the maintenance man like we're not gonna help you and so now I've waited for two hours to get my shit like all I want to do is go to my hotel room at the Lowe's I'm living and at this point like I'm gonna win like we're gonna get in the apartment and I'm gonna get my shit and I'm gonna fucking storm out with my Louis luggage angry like that's how this night is gonna end for me at 9 a.m. I'm like okay sir fine I'll figure it out and so keep in mind now you're inside of the elevator pressing all of the buttons trying to get up to any floor to then get to your apartment to like sort through the hallway and try to break in literally the security's outside of the elevator like ma'am families are sleeping the other tenants are sleeping like this could be grounds for eviction and you're like yeah I'm just gonna silently break in and so I walk in the elevator I'm trying to like unpress all the buttons keep in mind all these there's only one elevator so all these people are like waiting on the outside and you're like pressing the closed door button <laughs> trying to get the elevator doors to close to like send us up but I know if we go up that's it it's <laughs> over for my stuff and so I like dive in front of the closing elevator doors and I fall to my knees <laughs> please imagine hi I'm Tana like I get I get upset over shit but imagine me falling to my knees begging someone to cooperate with me like I don't do that and I fall to my knees and I start sobbing <laughs> Full on! I'm not kidding you. Not even just like Laura Lee crying, like literally like tears. <laughs> like I am sobbing. I love how like, like we're all just sitting in the lobby for this. Like we're just no, yeah. like watching. And this everyone lobby. else is in the lobby just watching this show, this Cirque du Soleil moment <laughs> in the elevator. And I fall to my knees, sobbing. I'm like, Trevor, this has been the worst night of my life. And I just wanted you to have the best birthday. Like I didn't happen, and everything's behind us. But it's 30 more minutes until the maintenance people come in. I just want my stuff. <laughs> You're staring at me like. For the first time all night with even like 1% empathy in your eyes <laughs> And I think that you're gonna be like, okay, fuck Like you'd never see me cry at that point, I don't think either Oh, um, like, you know <laughs> no. I've never had a fight. I've never even been upset around him. And here I am on my knees of the elevator in your lobby sobbing begging you to just cooperate with me You look at me and you look at me with a little empathy like you're like and you kind of look at me and I'm like, he's gonna come around. Like, we did it. Everything's behind us. He's gonna sit there for 30 more minutes and we're gonna get the key and we're gonna go to his apartment. Everything's gonna be fine. I thought in that moment for one second and you look at me and you get down to my knees, you bend over and you get this close to my face and you put your, like, you go like this. Like, <laughs> put like your, your finger on my chest like this and you go, fake cry a little better next time. <laughs> Chief call. <laughs> that is not it. And just walks away out of the elevator, thirty away. Like, well, I'm Tiana, and it's my birthday, and like just like fully <laughs> a lot. patronizing me. Like it was a lot. Patronizing me. Normally, like you'll get like hammered and like pass out. You'll be like Vork, and we can like deal with it for like some time, and you'll like pass out. But like this night, like you just were not. Like imagine Vork for like seven because hours. Because we had to keep you up. You had nowhere to sleep. You literally couldn't go to sleep anywhere. So you had to sit in the lobby, wait to get. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, like your, you know, Tiffany, Brittany, Stephanie. Keep in mind they were all still there too like all the bitches he brought decide to like pull you aside and they're keeping you and then your brother and your mans and Amari are talking to me like listen we know Trevor can get like this sometimes but we just appreciate your friendship like the next like 25 minutes go by like that of them keeping us away from each other because I was ready to fucking kill you <laughs> and you thought I was the worst person on this planet <laughs> even though all I wanted was my stuff Finally, the maintenance person shows up. It's like 7 a.m. The maintenance person shows up with the key. He walks us all up. The whole time you're just like flirting with him, falling all over him, stepping on his feet. <laughs> like he lets us in. I think it was like a pretty easy process. We walk inside of Trevor's apartment and my suitcases are right there in all of their glory. And Trevor runs inside and starts scream crying at the top of his lungs and <laughs> runs into his closet and is sitting in the back of his closet like, <laughs> ding, <laughs> like a rack of clothes, like opening the rack and going behind it and then putting the clothes back in front of him. <laughs> Rock Man were like, Tana hates me! He's the worst best friend ever! I just lost my best friend! Ah, ah, ah. And then everyone in the apartment is like,
like consoling him and I'm just furiously backing my shit, like <laughs> folding my shirts one by one, like on my way to blows, it's gonna be just fine. I'm walking to the room and I just look at you and you're in the corner and you're literally just like, ah! <laughs> I walk into the closet. I try to get Trevor out. You will not get out of this closet, by the way. I'm like pulling you with my whole force, like whatever. And you're just like, let me stay where I belong. <laughs> like in this closet. In the closet. So finally, I'm like, fuck it. Stay in the fucking closet. Literally, fuck you. I'm leaving. Amari and I show up to the Lowe's Hotel. We check in. I get in my bed. I also had like a flight that next day, like noon or something like that. But I assumed I was going to be in bed before like 9 a.m. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm just going to miss my flight. It's not a big deal. Like, I'll get on the next fight, whatever. Right before going to sleep, I had your Twitter notifications on because we're, you know, best friends, whatever. We still do! No, I know. And do you, not? I do. I'll kill you, okay. You tweet something like, you think some people are your friends, LMAO. <laughs> like, no. you, you, you drunkenly, like, subtweet me. And everyone saw on Snap that it was pretty much only us together. And, like, everyone was literally replying, like, are you and Tana okay? Like, whatever. No. You're, like, favoriting the responses. Like, I am laying in bed. <laughs> I'm some Nikki Cardi shit. <laughs> yes. I'm laying in bed just fuming. I didn't even talk. No. Like, like I sleep for like 14 hours. That's what I do when I'm really mad. I, I literally sleep off my anger. I wake up, I stare at the ceiling for a good just six hours. I sleep some more, wake back up, and then this is right when the uh, like shooting in Vegas happened. All flights into Las Vegas are now canceled because of this shooting, like for days. Mm -hmm. And so I, if Trevor's birthday went normally, I would have gone home to Vegas, like on time. And so now I'm stranded in this Lowe's hotel room for the next like three days. Mm -hmm. Just staring at the ceiling, nowhere to go. I can't mm -hmm. stay with Trevor like normal because we're, we were fighting. We're doing hang Yeah, and James like Shishar, that's why you have to stop drinking, Shishar. Like, no, yeah, exactly. He's like, tell me about it, Shishar. I spent three days in the Lowe's Hotel in Hollywood, staring at the ceiling, livid. I also spent three, three days confused. Days. Yeah, you were yeah. terrified to talk to her. I remember you were talking to me, and you're like, I don't know what to say to her. I was like, I, I don't know what to say to her. What do you say after this? Yeah, and texting me like, I don't know what to do about Tana. Like she hates me. Because I was like, confused. She does not you. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what to do about Tana either. I can't tell you what to do because. Because you're dead to her. In those three days, I was like processing our friendship ending and us never being friends again. Like, I was like, I'm gonna see him at events and then we're gonna remember when we were best friends. And like, that's gonna be it. I think it made us stronger. I think that it literally gave us like a family relationship. See, yeah. Like, you've also seen me like at my worst a thousand times. Every scandal, Trevor's been there day of. Like, <laughs> <laughs> even when I walk into the lobby of where you used to live now, like, I have PTSD. Hyde will never be the same. Oh, Bootsy Bellows will never be the same. Uber Black, Uber Black will never be the same. <laughs> What's funny is every time I see those girls, I do think of that night. Really? Yeah, like one of them's dating like Brendan Taylor's brother right now. Mm -hmm. And like every time I see her with him, I'm literally just like, remember that time that I almost killed myself in front of you? I just want to put it out there. I forgive you. I know. I don't want the people at home to think that this video no, is like yeah. me bashing Trevor or thinking that I'm like in any way better than that. Like I've had my low points like on tour when I got roofied. And I've just been wanting to tell you this story since a week after it happened. Like I remember a week after this happening being like, I'm going to put this in my book one day. This was like one of the worst experiences I've ever had in Los Angeles. I just wish I could express to you how much worse it was. Like how many times you stepped on my toes. Like my toes hurt for days. <laughs> like after this. Like I'm sorry. I just wanted to tell the story. And now that I've told the story, I feel so much better. Really? All ill with Well, I didn't know, on, honestly, 75% of this. So I'm sorry. Yeah, if, I, if I didn't give you a sincere apology, like, I am sorry. I just start crying. I'm like, it yeah, actually means- I almost like- <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that Ooh. brought it back. <laughs> this is Trevor, he's my best friend. This is Amari, he's my other best friend who's never done that. And I'm just like, fuck you, fuck you. I'm gonna link all of their stuff below. Go stream Trevor's new song, Bad Bitch, so that after you stream my song, fuck up. But I mean like, oh, oh, honestly, it. she deserves it. No. Actually, do you? <laughs> Thank you for listening. I have a headache from that. Like, all right, guys, part should... two on my channel, I'll be at Malibu Adventures Rehab. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna be my visitors with their visitor. Hello, my name is Tags. <laughs> <laughs> I would visit you in rehab. Yeah. Should we go to rehab? Make, let's go to rehab. Try to make us go to rehab. <laughs> we said no. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks for having me. And Bye. Bye. I love you. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. <laughs>